guys, what's up? Sorry I didn't get a video in this Monday, but I am actually vlogging today. It is Sunday, and I'm also gonna vlog a little bit this week. I'm getting my hair all done. I'm gonna get it really blonde for my uh, little trip, my missions trip. I'm also gonna show packing. I don't know if I'm gonna do like a separate video of me packing, like a little what to pack kind of thing for a mission trip or whatever. But right now I'm gonna go get some money because I had to convert my Canadian money to American. And then I'm going out to eat today, and yeah. So yeah, you guys can just follow me around this week and watch me pack and get all set up for my trip. garlic seitan. So good. This is like my favorite. Basically chicken, but it ain't. So good. Now I just got this western omelet, chickpea omelet, with some soup. And he got, what is it called? Benedict. Some avocado bag. Looks good. We just stopped at a thrift store. After we ate. Hello. Ooh. So I just tried on these two pairs of shorts. I tried on these Levi's. They're really nice, but I don't really like the slits. And I'm actually gonna get these ones. They're only like 20 bucks. They're blue notes. Hey guys, it's a couple days later and I didn't actually vlog me and my aunt going to yoga Monday night. It was really fun, but it was just really dark and it would have been really weird if I showed you guys it because it was in such like a dark room and it was really dark at night. So it wouldn't be much for you guys to see. I wish you guys could have seen it, but maybe another time. So it is Tuesday and I just got my braces off, my bottom braces, so they hurt really bad right now there's like they're bleeding right here and it's just really weird and they're not white like the top ones but yeah they're not as straight as I wanted them to be I've had them on since grade 7 and they're just like it's time to get them off so I whitened my top teeth before like last year and my bottom brace my bottom teeth are not the same color as the top teeth because they obviously weren't whitened but I have to show you guys these new products that I just got. I don't know if you guys have heard of them before, but they're really big on Instagram. And they're just little, like three syringes of teeth whitener that's vegan and has some natural products in there. Like there's like aloe vera. Well, there's aloe vera in the toothpaste. I don't know about this. Yeah, those aloe leaf juice, pomegranate seed extract, chamomile flower extract, like some cool ingredients in there. Yeah, they asked me if they could send me some, but I had my braces on at the time, so they said I can use it after I get my braces off, and I have my braces off now, so I'm going to be using them soon. I want to do like a whole review video on it, so yeah. But I've been using their toothpaste that they gave me also for a little while, and I really like the toothpaste. So what I got left to do, I have to pack for my trip to LA, so I'm going to show you guys that, and I'm just about to have some lunch.
So right now I'm just in the middle of packing. I kind of want to show you guys like what I pack, how I pack, and also the food that I pack. Just because I'm going on a mission trip, so like it's different than a normal trip, obviously, for the stuff I'm going to be packing. So I'm just going to be showing you guys like the food that I'm going to be packing and all the clothes I'm going to be packing because um, it's a mission trip in LA and the food is actually donated to us. So I'm not going to be getting like a lot of vegan food because I don't really have like dietary restrictions and stuff like that for people so that's why i am packing lara bars my mom got me these they are gluten-free fruit and nut energy bar this one's coconut cream i tried one already it comes with like i don't know it doesn't say how many but there's a lot that it comes with and they're like made out of dates cashews almonds and coconut oil and coconut sh shavings i'm pretty sure yeah, it's like really good ingredients, really like natural and all that. I love these. My favorite one is the peanut butter one, but my mom couldn't find that one here. I also just made my own like little mixed nut jar. So there's almonds, walnuts, pecans, um, sunflower seeds, and coconut shavings. I just filled it up to the top so I can like snack on these in between lunch and dinner and breakfast and all that. This is a really good snack you should bring on any trip that you're going on if you're going to like an all-inclusive or whatever. So you can just snack on nuts in between meals and stay kind of healthy because you need your healthy fats. Also, my mom picked me up some natural peanut butter. This is just great value. This is just great value. I usually get it from Bulk Barn, but I was kind of wanting one that's like sealed and all that stuff so what i'm planning on doing is going to the grocery store when i get there because we all go to the grocery store to pick up like snacks and stuff that we want so i'm planning on getting bananas for sure and almond milk so that in the morning i don't even know if there's going to be like a good breakfast for me so i'm pretty sure right now all i'm thinking is that my breakfast is going to be like two bananas with some peanut butter i'll have some nuts and the lar bars in between meals and stuff like that so i'm going to be getting a bunch of bananas and then almond milk, if there's coffee, I'll put almond milk in my coffee. I might bring some of the date sugar I have. Um, I don't really know, like it's hard to think about stuff that you're gonna need when you don't know what kind of food you're gonna have there. And if anything, I can just go to the grocery store and pick up something, I guess. I have a majority of my stuff packed. I just did my laundry now, so I just had to fold some of the stuff, but I'm gonna be showing you like some of the shorts I'm bringing and stuff like that because I had to bring modest shorts, which I already do have some pairs of those because I already like them like that. So the first pair of shorts I'm bringing are these thrifted shorts. They're pretty long, you can roll them also, but I'm just going to keep them like this. I got them like two summers ago. These are like my favorite shorts that I have. I just picked up the other day a pair of these shorts from the same store. Um, these ones are blue notes though. They're boys cut blue notes jean shorts. These ones are pretty modest. They're not very short. You can roll them obviously, but I would wear them like this. I'm just going to see what it's like when I get there like and like ask other people like, do you think these are okay? But these are an option for the days that we are working. We only have one day to ourselves that we're going to be going like to into Hollywood that I'll be showing you guys a little bit of when I get there so I have I'm don't know like kind of like clothes wise what I'm going to wear but I just packed some random stuff for that so that's like one day and um if I don't wear these shorts during the other days that I'm like need to wear like clothes see the clothes that we need to wear on the days that we are working I need to be able to like they said that we need clothes that we can leave there. Like, they're going to get dirty. I need shoes that I can leave there because there's puddles of pee, apparently. Because it's in, like, it's blocked off little communities in Skid Row. So, we need to bring shoes that we can get dirty and clothes we can get dirty. But I'm going to just wash my clothes anyways. I'm not going to throw them out. But I want to bring some shirts that I don't really care about. Shorts, I bought some thrifted shorts I'm about to show you guys that I don't really care about. But these ones I do. I actually like these ones. They're like $21. 
and they're really like cute and vintage but yeah so I'm packing these so there's these two pairs of shorts that I just picked up at the thrift store for a really good price that I don't really care about if I get dirty or not so I have these blue notes again these were just jeans men's jeans or boys jeans or whatever that I cut into long pants long shorts I mean so they just go like in the middle of my knee and my like in the middle of my thigh another pair of shorts I don't really care if I get them dirty or not are these these banana republic shorts that I just got from a thrift store for like seven bucks they don't look that long in the picture but they are pretty long they don't go like they are not right in the middle of my thigh just a little bit shorter than that but I think they're pretty modest for the trip I have this hat that I'm bringing we all have like the same hat this kind of looks funny but Ooh. so I have some random like t-shirts that I'm bringing just that I don't the ones I don't really care about that much um, I have some cute shirts to wear um, I packed two pairs of jeans one pair of Lululemon leggings and then two cute like little dress outfits like little jumpers so this is a jumper from it's called Wilfred Wil Wilfred and Free or whatever Wilfred Wil Wilfred Free and I got this from a thrift store for only $24 which in store this would probably be like 140 or whatever it's just like an aqua mint green kind of jumper it's really cute has nice little zippers these are for like the days if we're going out to like LA I'm probably gonna wear this the day we go to LA like in the place if it's not too hot because it is long pants but we do go to some churches too i'm pretty sure so i could wear this there whatever i'm gonna wear like a white long sleeve t-shirt underneath white long sleeve shirt underneath but yeah i really like this i'm also bringing this little two-piece or whatever it's called jump jumpsuit what do you call them rompers it goes over the shoulders and shorts like that just for the days that we go to the beach if we do go, I think we go one day to the beach, so I can wear this there. Really cute. Just like put it over a bathing suit or whatever. I'm back in two bathing suits as well. Just one from Zaffle. And then one is just like an extra one. I'm bringing a fanny pack so I could put my camera in there. And just walk around with that in there. Because I don't want to be holding my camera all the time and my phone and money. It's way easier just to like put it around your waist instead of holding like a bag. I think so. So that's all I have packed for now. Um, I need to pack some, I have one pair of pajamas or two pair of pajamas I have packed. I need to pack like underwear, bras, all that stuff. Um, that's pretty much it so far. And I also need to pack um, makeup, face wash, shampoos, and all that. And I will show you that after school. So I'm gonna go back to school because I just took the morning off to get my braces off. Um, School starts in like 10 minutes, so I'm gonna go and I will be back after school. Guys, I just got back onto packing some things and I'm just about to pack some shoes. So I'm bringing these shoes. They're like some old Pumas from like literally elementary school. Glad they still fit me and I can get them as dirty as I want. And it doesn't matter because I never wear them. They're like hidden in my basement. But a little tip for packing shoes bring a plastic bag and put them in that so that the bottom of the shoes were like you step in grease all day dog poo dog pee all that kind of stuff you step in random stuff you don't even know so you don't want that getting on your clothes if you just lay it here so put in a plastic bag if you didn't know that already also bring a plastic bag or any kind of bag like I usually have plastic bags just because if my parents have them from shopping or whatever but you can use any type of bag you want like an eco-friendly bag whatever but keep a bag in your luggage so that when you wear clothes you can just put them in here when you're done wearing them and then you know right when you get home what clothes you've already worn and then you can just wash them right away and then put away the folded clothes that you didn't wear it's really easy that way okay guys I'm about to go get my hair done and I put my freaking charger in the wall to charge my camera come home it wasn't plugged in all the way so hopefully my camera doesn't die if it dies I'm gonna use my phone 
But yeah, I'm just gonna go head over now. It's like gonna take like four hours for me to get my hair done. Then I had to go to work right after, so I just brought some oatmeal and a lar bar, and hopefully that will keep me full. We'll see. Sorry for the mess, guys, in the background, but this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing these jeans that I got from the thrift store and made these holes. Whoop. And I'm just wearing this sweater from Everlane. Um, and when I went there for the consultation, they have the cappuccinos and stuff, so I'm hoping to get a cappuccino today. Hopefully they have almond milk. I'm, like, actually excited. I love going to the freaking salon. So fun. Just sucks that it's, like, four hours. Yay! Let's go. I'm wearing these shoes again. I think I'm just addicted to these docks. Ooh. Don't have time to put more gas in. Don't worry guys, I'm at a red light right now. We're good. you guys right now what it looks like but it's so blonde and it took three of them to literally blow dry my hair and brush it out because I was like in a rush so so glad they did that it was such an awesome time got a neck massage and a hand massage like what okay guys this is what the final look looks like um I just got back from work it was so busy so crazy um I'm really tired right now but I really like the hair it's really blonde on like the bottom but not that much on the top but i wanted it more on the top but like i really like the front pieces and everything it looks pretty blonde but yeah literally it was so nice at this salon they give you a hand massage and a neck massage while you're waiting they gave me a cappuccino that was vegan like it was so nice best thing ever and they used a veda and it's so their stuff smells so good. Just so good. Hopefully you guys can see it better this way. I, I didn't get a haircut or anything. Just got it all curled up. But literally, they had three people brushing my hair. Two people blow drying it. Two people curling it. Because I was in a rush to go to work too. It took four hours for all that. Yeah. But anyways, I'm going to go to bed. And yeah, I'm just going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching me pack and getting my hair done. Hope you guys like it. Um, I will be having a vlog soon from LA, hopefully. Yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.